Hey guys. <coughs> 7 30. Welcome back. 7. Literally dying of coughing. And I have my surgery tomorrow, so I have to be quiet about it. Because I think they don't do surgery on people who are sick. I'm just going to say I'm not sick. And honestly, if I die, I die. I'm debating if I want to go get food right now. I debated and the debate is no because I'm gonna go out later today so I probably shouldn't spend money. And you know what that is called? Self-control. Most people don't have that, but I do. Just look at my room, it's literally almost packed up. So I got everything under my bed. Um, everything under my bed's away, but I just have this whole bed full of stuff. But, like, that is my carry-on, so that is gonna try to get all that in there, even though that's already full. And then this stuff, I need to get in a suitcase, like, those stuff. Um, that I'm just gonna leave here. That, I don't know what my dad wants to do with that, because it's his stuff. And then I have all my shoes, which I need to figure out. Those I'm trying to sell right now, but nobody's interested, because everyone's gone. But, like, I'm interested. And then I have my two suitcases, and then I have all this I need to pack. But that's going to go in, like, one suitcase. Anyways, I I need to just talk to you guys when I'm going, when I'm, like, leaving. Because I can't do this right now because I'm too stressed out, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, I just got out of the house. That was such a long morning. I sold my moped. So, I sold it for $400, which is honestly such a good deal considering I got it for $1,200. Um, I'm about to go to the tennis courts right now. I was gonna go play some pickleball this morning But I honestly didn't have enough time and I'm still dying. I've been sick for like a week now um, When did I get sick? I got sick on Friday and I'm still sick and it's Tuesday and I have surgery tomorrow. So that's just great but Yeah, I'm about to go say bye to my roommate one of my roommates slash friends um, she's, I was supposed to play pickleball with her, but I like, didn't. So I'm just gonna go say bye to her because she's flying back to New Zealand tomorrow. The party has arrived. Yay! Hey, bye. Bye. I love you. Wait, actually, tell me a message. Uh, I'm so sad. We're not gonna be roommates anymore. You're my favorite roommate. Don't tell my kids. Uh, I'm gonna miss <laughs> Put y'all right here because I just went to 7 Eleven. I got some Day Quill to be honest. Don't know if this even does anything. Take only as directed. Two tablets every four hours. Okay, it says two tablets every four hours. even open this <coughs> and then I got a tuna roll because I need to eat lunch and turmeric ginger they didn't have any more um, lemon ginger but holy heck that is the foulest thing I've ever drinking. I know that was not five dollars. Let's try this. I've actually tried this before and I know I like it. She is good. Okay guys, I just got my wax. Um, love my girl Sherry up at European Wax Center here in Pearl City. If you guys go see her, it literally does not hurt with her. I don't know what she does, but it's like painless. And it's literally like 15 minutes. She gets you bare. Like nobody gets her bare like she does. She gets the tweezers. Like she genuinely wants you bare. And it doesn't hurt. Like I don't know what she does to make it not hurt because I've seen so like four different people, not so many, but like four different people and they've all hurt with her so oh my doctor's calling hold up hello hi this is Erin hey guys it's surgery day sorry I didn't vlog uh, yesterday 
I got a little carried away because my dad came early and surprised me. And so I spent the day with him and I just didn't really think about vlogging because I was like, I'll just vlog today. Anyways, uh, let me bring you guys downstairs. Hold up. Hey guys, so my dad's getting food right now because he can eat and I can't. Also, I'm literally bald. I have no jewelry on. I feel naked. Only on my face. Like, I just feel like I'm literally gonna die. Um, but yeah, this is the last day with two arms. I do like going into surgery though because I really like the medication. Dang, I feel like I look 10 times fatter too. Hey guys. Got out of surgery um, like six hours ago. Like, not even, yeah, like six hours ago. Literally been in the hospital all day because I, I was in so much pain. I just had to get some more meds. And now we're gonna go get some pho because he said to keep it easy on like meals. Yeah, I got my brace on. Um, I sound so raspy, but it's because they put a tube down me. Um, but yeah, it honestly went good, I think. Um, but let me let me just talk to you guys when we get to the pho place because there's literally 20 minutes of traffic right now because we're literally in like peak rush hour, right? This is like peak rush hour. Yep. Um, yeah, because it's like 5:30. But hopefully it'll go by fast. But it is Honolulu, so what can you expect? Um, let me t ask my dad, like, what his thoughts were on surgery. It was great. She went in, and then she came out. And about waiting time? Forever. But it wasn't bad. It was pretty normal. I felt bad. No, well, you just fell asleep. It was, you had a hard time coming I felt out. bad. Why do you feel bad? Because I knew you were bored. That's why I said let's go. I'm gonna be bored whether we sit in there or whether we sit. I'm just here to help you. So I'm just gonna. No, but you didn't even have your laptop out. I can do it on my phone. I do a lot of my work on my phone anyway. All right. Well, we'll catch you at the pho. How come your shutter thing is like that? Oh my gosh, my camera's broken, guys. Guys, I got fought, and um, these spring rolls, they're like pork spring rolls, but I think it's literally just spam. And. I got the combination plus, so it has like all of the meats in it. But there's like this fried thing in the spring rolls that I can't eat, or some rolls that I can't eat. That's why now. And that's why he's here. Come on, I'm so excited to eat this. Very good. Definitely recommend. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching that video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below. I'm going to be putting um, a separate video for me, like, coming out of anesthesia, just so it's, like, not a super long video. But it's pretty funny. I mean, I'm always pretty funny, so, you know, just a little bit funnier. But um, I kind of sound like a crackhead in that video. Like, I'm addicted to meds, but I promise I'm not. I just... Uh, sometimes I don't think before I speak. Um, but yeah, so let me know and share this if you want to. If you don't, I don't really care, to be honest. But I love you guys all. Choose to be kind and help someone today. <laughs>